Hello, welcome to Ali First Technologies presentation for our uh, disruptor EAD50. This is a IED disruptor and it can fire different slugs as well as a normal water jet also can be uh, ejected out of this. This is designed to have a equal momentum toward the front side as well as for the rear side. So today's objective is to demonstrate our recoilless feature of this uh, uh, that it, it would eject equal amount of momentum toward the front and rear side. Uh, the slug today we are using is the water. It's a normal, uh, the way uh, normal disruptors are working. The, uh, however, it can also fire different slugs like uh, solid slug, uh, folk slug, as well as the, there are some frangible slugs also. Uh, which could be fired with different uh, barrels. So for water uh, ejection, we use uh, this choke barrel, whereas there is a 40 mm barrel also for firing the frangible slugs, uh, the rifled uh, fire barrel also uh, for having spin stabilized uh, slugs, as well as we have 0.5 inch barrel also which fires the uh, solid slugs. So we also are going to have a 15 degree angle of attack for this uh, test. Uh, for that, we have already uh, leveled the uh, disruptor uh, onto a bubble level. And now I'm just going to have a uh, 15 degree angle given to it. Uh, here we have already uh, well lined. So just moving this, I already have made a 15 degrees gauge so here we are uh, this is now prepared for firing uh, the at a 50 degree uh, angle of attack uh, we are using um, the 0.5 cal uh, the 0.5 inch uh, or 50 cal uh, ammunition uh, is being used uh, our ammunition is uh, uh, ct 5 w cartridges which we also supply uh, and this cartridge uh, with wire is being today used also, we are using uh, our RF device. We already have a detailed video on this. Uh, RF device is uh, uh, the uh, ECI's uh, 6712 system, uh, which uh, has uh, been connected to the uh, disruptor. So we, uh, to, in order to have all its uh, features uh, displayed, we have marked the positions uh, down and uh, on the front side as well as on the rear side we just are going to see uh, whether it is uh, how much it is going to move as well as if there is any angular movement uh, that is also going to get noticed so this is uh, the configuration in which we are have prepared it uh, hopefully we should get a very good result out of this thank you Priming. Prime, okay. Stand by. Firing. Now. Second continuity. Continuity, okay. Priming. Prime, okay. Stand by. Firing. Now. So here we are to uh, take some measurements how much rearward movement has been done. The stand position is has been such that uh, it was totally retracted downward uh, so that maximum uh, force uh, could have been there uh, if there was a recoil uh, coming up. 
Uh, overall it is 400 mm uh, and uh, a little less than uh, 2 inches. On the other side also uh, we have uh, similar results. Uh, it is almost uh, 2 inches. Uh, the rear movement also, uh, the rear leg has moved also 400 mm. So overall a very balanced uh, activity uh, which has been happened. Uh, there hasn't been, we haven't seen the angular movement toward it. Uh, the explosive, uh, whenever they are performing, there is never a 100% uh, on the dot uh, thing and then we have uh, a little bit of 98%, uh, 99% uh, recoillessness in uh, such activities. Uh, overall, we say this is a, a nice uh, performance that it shouldn't have uh, moved toward uh, very violently toward the rear side. It is just uh, a little bit of misbalance which is uh, which could be negligible. Uh, this uh, could be maybe in a, another activity. It would not be that much of uh, rearward movement, or even if there is momentum, it could even come toward the uh, frontal side. Also, the momentum has to be balanced. So. Overall, this is a very balanced test.